What about the timing of this amendment? There has been a lot of concern that voting for this amendment in June will amount to a great ejection, a kicking out, a mass expulsion of hundreds of churches. But that is just not how the process of updating our Constitution works. To be clear, this amendment updates Article 3 of our Constitution, which is the article that defines what we call the composition of our convention. In particular, composition refers to what kind of churches are qualified to send messengers to a convention, and whether or not those messengers are certified and allowed to attend and participate in convention business. According to our bylaws, to make updates to our Constitution requires a two-thirds vote by the messengers at two successive conventions. That means, in order for this amendment to be added to our Constitution, the messengers at New Orleans must give a two-thirds approval to it, and then again at next year's convention in Indianapolis. Furthermore, since the amendment would become part of defining the seating of messengers, it will not have its full impact until the 2025 convention in Dallas. That's two full years from this year's convention. There is a process in place for the handling of questions of cooperation. The Credentials Committee can engage in a period of conversation with any church in question. There is the opportunity for open communication between churches and the Credentials Committee between conventions to resolve questions about doctrine and practice with the goal of seating messengers at the next convention. We should continue to expect, as we have for nearly 180 years, the good faith behavior of churches that cooperate with our convention. Those churches who share our doctrine but are confused on practice will have ample opportunity to bring their practice in line with Scripture and our statement of faith. And we can hope for the above board and honorable and voluntary departure of those churches who simply do not share our doctrine and practice. Any church that believes its practice is faithful with our doctrine may appeal to the convention directly at any annual meeting. In short, the process itself is intentionally drawn out so that we may be deliberate and fair. The timing of this amendment rushes no one and it serves everyone.